This is Made at Sac State, the video magazine. I'm Gloria Moraga. We're talking about civil engineering. What an exciting time to be an engineer, especially in this time of, of worried about water and drought. So we have uh, Professor Saad, Marianne, thank you for very much for being here. And students, and thank you both students for taking time out of your studies to join us on Made at Sac State. Wazma Baramont, thank you for being here. And John Rooks. Thanks for joining us. We're going to start with Professor. Civil Engineering program is one of the departments in the College of Compu Engineering and Computer Science. We prepare our students for professional practice and we offer uh, courses both in depth and breadth in several areas in civil engineering. That includes um, environmental, uh, geotechnical, transportation, structure, and water resources. How much work are you doing related to water and the drought? Most of uh, my work is uh, relevant to the state of California issues in water resources. We worked on projects uh, with uh, the Department of Water Resources, Caltrans, uh, Flood Control Board, and um, areas that is important in the uh, sustainability of water resources in our state. Okay, Wazmi, you are a, a graduate student. Tell us about your work and your studies here at Sac State. I had a great experience uh, being an engineering student at Sac State. Um, I love the Department of Water Resources. I love the civil engineering department um, because the faculty and staff, they are very helpful. Um, they're really hands in hands with students. John, you are an uh, undergrad. So tell us about your studies and your work. Um, it's been an absolutely amazing experience with the Civil Engineering Department. Um, the faculty and staff support the students a lot. And I never thought that the teaching would be so direct when it comes to work because in my internship, I used the direct knowledge from the classes every single day, actually applied to engineering solutions. The professional organizations that you get to be a part of are just unbelievable. ASCE, they do uh, statewide competitions. We're part of ESW, which actually is focusing on water projects for sustainability uh, here on campus. So it's been a really great experience. What are you doing in your internship? Uh, my internship is with the Office of Water Programs, uh, right over here across the street here at Sac State <laughs> actually as well. Um, and they're an environmental uh, uh, research group basically. And so uh, my studies have been in conjunction with Sac State, actually a, a lot of working on campus at the Stork and working on water, different water projects. There. Now, Wasma, you're uh, a grad student, so your studies or your, your work is a little bit more advanced. Uh, what are you working on in relation to the drought and water? Currently, I'm actually working to develop a WEAP model, which is water valuation and planning for the North Coast Hydrologic Region of California. I'll be developing the model to determine the water demand and usage for that region. I'm building different scenarios like the current scenarios and future scenarios um, under climate change to predict the water demand for a commercial, urban, uh, and industrial use. And Professor, how important is all of this work in relation to the state of California and, and water and what's what's happening here? In, in the state of California, they use the model that Wasma just described, the WEEP model too, for the uh, water plan. Uh, that is a four-year water plan. And we're trying to look at the impact of climate change on the micro scale to see if that change from the system wide analysis that DWR performs in their water plan. Thank you for being here. Thank you for spending some time with us. For more on this story, visit our website, 